Hey, what's up and thanks for clicking in. My name is Jason and in this video, we're gonna be discussing the band protocol. I'm also gonna show you guys how you can stake the band token using your atomic wallet and earn a 17% annual return. If that wasn't enough, I'm also giving away 10 band tokens. Make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. I'm gonna explain how you qualify for that. Guys, I'm really excited, so I don't wanna waste any time. Let's get started with this video right now. All right, so I think it's important to understand what ban protocol is, but before we talk about that, I wanna let you guys know the first of two steps you need to take in order to qualify for the 10 free ban tokens. First step, subscribe to this channel. So if you're not already subscribed, take one second and do so. All right, so ban protocol is a competitor of Chainlink. They're both Oracle services. And for me, I didn't really understand what an Oracle service was, so I dug a little deeper and we know kind of what a smart contract is. So a smart contract is, is a contract that operates on a blockchain, that operates in a decentralized way, allows you to put initial information into the contract that when that information is met, the contract will be met essentially. The problem with a smart contract is it can't pull information from the outside. Because the blockchain is isolated and it's decentralized, there's no way to get information into the blockchain unless you physically put it there. So the ban protocol, along with Chainlink and other Oracle services, is that trusted way to get outside information into the blockchain, which would relate to a smart contract. So you would think of people that are doing loans at a specific rate. Uh, they would need to know what the currency rates are. You think of people that are betting, that need to get a bet in uh, at a specific line, at a specific rate. They need to know that information in real time. So these Oracle services are really, really powerful services that are going to possibly lead to the adaption of dApps. dApps have always been there, but people have not really used them because there haven't really been real life use cases. But when you start to pump this information, this real time information into a blockchain, which is what some of these Oracle services allow you to do, then these dApps become a little bit more user friendly. So there are a few differences between band and chain link. And one of the main ones is how the information is actually supplied to the blockchain. So with band, they operate on a push system. So all the information is always pushed in real time to the blockchain. The advantage of this is the information is always available and it's a little bit cheaper because it's always there. They're always just pushing it out with chain link. They operate on kind of a request and supply system. So you will request data that you want and they will supply it back to you. So that's good for customization and you're always available to get the, the data that you want specifically, but it's a little bit more costly to do it that way. The band token is designed to compensate the data validators on the network. So everyone that's supplying data to the network, if they are supplying data that's deemed to be correct, they are compensated with the band token. Okay, so now I think we have a pretty good understanding of how band protocol works. Do some more research, figure out if this investment is right for you, but I am gonna show you guys how you can stake this token using the Atomic Wallet to earn that 17% return. So we're gonna jump into my phone right now. I'm gonna show you all the steps that you need to take to do this, and uh, let's get started. All right, so here we are, and this is my Binance account. And the reason we're on my Binance account and not Atomic Wallet to start off is because you can't actually purchase or exchange band token on Atomic Wallet, so you have to use something else. So Binance offers band tokens, so you can exchange Bitcoin for band, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So you come here, you go to markets, I'm gonna go to the band slash BTC market, and I'm gonna click buy, and I'm gonna buy band, and right now, band is going for the equivalent of $2.43. Normally, I would do a limit order, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna do a market order. And I'm gonna buy about you know, 408 band right now. All right, so as we can see now, 407 band is what we got. And next step is what we have to do is transfer this band over to our atomic wallet. So I'm gonna close out of Binance and we will open the Atomic Wallet. And you go to Band and you're gonna to receive tokens. 
So what I'm going to do is copy this address here. And address has been copied. And now I'll go back to Binance and go back to my band wallet. And now I'm going to withdraw the band from Binance to Atomic Wallet. So I will copy the address here, paste. I'm going to do the max amount 407. And I'm going to go through the two step verification and I will be right back with you guys. All right, so now we're inside my Atomic Wallet and you can download the Atomic Wallet in the iOS App Store. This video is not about installing it, but I already have it installed here. So I did send the band from Binance over to the Atomic Wallet. You can see it's here now, 405. So this is in the wallet here. Now to go ahead and stake these tokens, you'll go ahead and click on the staking along the bottom here, bottom right corner. And you'll go and you'll see that band is offering 17% and the 17% is an annual return. You'll click on the band protocol and you'll see right now, I currently have 220 staked. I have 405, almost 406 available. And uh, my current reward right now is 0.296. If I wanted to claim that, I would just hit the claim right here. Now I claim this reward and now that's available to me. I'm going to go ahead and stake everything that I have. So I'll hit stake and it tells you right here, you have 405.99. The yearly yield is what it gives you. And it also tells you what that amount is in USD. I'm going to stake all and stake. And that's it. Now we can go back here. And it does take a second. And I will say this you do need to have some Ethereum in your wallet in order to power these transactions. That was a mistake I made the first time I had no Ethereum and I was not able to do any transacting within the wallet. So you'll see here, I have a small amount of Ethereum and it just takes a couple, couple seconds to update and eventually you'll see that you are staking the entire amount of band. All right, so I just refreshed my Atomic Wallet and my staking has been completed. You can see now I have a very limited 0.29 uh, band in my wallet, but if I go over here to the staking tab, click here, you can see now I am staking 626, already earning a reward on it. Do have some available that was just left over. I could stake that if I want. The nice thing about this, as compared to some of the other high percentage staking apps, you can unstake this at any time just by going to unstake and you can unstake any amount at any time. So that's really cool. Yeah, I really like this wallet because it has a large amount of options, not only for staking, but also for just wallet storage. So the Atomic Wallet is really nice and uh, I'm really enjoying it, especially for staking the band protocol. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the band protocol. The second thing you have to do to qualify for the free band tokens is to leave a comment below. The best comment is gonna win the contest. 10 free band tokens, which is worth $26 by today's value. So make that comment good, make it funny, make it whatever you want, and I will pick the winner on the next video. So until next time, guys, be safe.